Hey you guys and welcome, and in this video I'll be showing you how to download Craft Bucket and Spigot versions of 1.8 and above. And basically, lots of people have been asking why Craft Bucket isn't around at the moment. I believe they're in disputes with Microsoft or Minecraft about copyright. They've used some sort of code that they shouldn't use, and it's basically trying to resolve that issue. But for now, this is a way around it. I'll put all the links in the description that you'll need, and I'll run through it now. So basically, the first thing you'll need to download is Git. I won't download all these because I have downloaded them and it will save a bit of time. But you need to download Git. Obviously, this is for Windows, so just download it for Windows anywhere on your PC, just in your normal files. It doesn't have to be in the folder of Minecraft. So just download that. The second thing you need to download is Build Tools. You just click this here. There'll be a link in the description. And you can see that I've got it in my folder here, Video 1.8 Server. So this is a little folder I've created. So create your folder. This is where your server is going to be. And then once you've downloaded that, you need to right click. Go to new and just create a text document. Edit the text document. And in the text document, you need to type in one of these codes, depending on whether your computer is a 64 bit or a 32 bit. So obviously, I've got a 64 bit, so I copy the top code. Once again, these will be in the description. Okay, it'd work if I could copy it. There we go. Right, and then go into your text file, paste it, file save as and you want to name it update dot sh and this is important it needs to be dot sh and i must stress you need to change it to all files for it to work and then click save go back into your folder you can delete the new text document and you've got update and build tools and now you want to run this file this will take about five minutes to work downloads everything that you need downloads all the blocks everything like that so i'll double click it and i'll just load up a timer so if I start the timer, you guys will be able to see it download, you'll be able to see the time. And this is just a rough indication so you guys know, and I'll be back once it's updated. So as you can see, it's just finished. It took just over five minutes. Obviously, this may depend on your computer speed. But expect just over a five minute wait. As you can see, go into my folder and it's created all these files now. So there's loads of files here. First thing you want to do is create the file to actually run it now. You've got a choice of either Craft Bucket or Spigot 1.8. And the choice is up to you. I'm going to choose Craft Bucket for this example. All you need to do is copy this code here. Copy it. Go back to the folder. Right click, New, Text Document. Edit it paste it in and obviously if you were using the other one change the name here just make sure it's the same name as here so as you can see file save as and then you want to name it whatever it doesn't really matter for this one I call it starter but you need to put dot bat after it and once again stress that it has to be all files that you save it under save it close it and then run the starter and it will come up with an error saying you haven't accepted the terms and conditions so just wait for it to create that. So it's just loading it and then all you do is press enter and you just have to basically click this file here and then change this to true. And this basically accepts the terms and conditions so you just save it. You could go to this website and read them if you wanted. I'm not going to for this example but there it is. Run your server and then it will start creating all the worlds. So I'll quickly just wait for it to create all the worlds before I show you logging in. Okay, so as you can see, it says done. So the first thing you want to do is op yourself. So this means that you can actually look at things once you log in. So I'm opt. So now if I load up Minecraft, I'll quickly log into the server. So I'll quickly wait for it to load. Make sure you're logged on as 1.8. As you can see, 1.8 at the bottom there. Play. So just quickly wait for it to load. Then when it loads up, just go to multiplayer. And then type direct connect and just go to your local host. So join the server. And as you can see, it's logged me in. So this is my new world. So if I do game mode one, changes my game mode. And you should be able to see all the new blocks will be in here. So as you can see, some new blocks here. Um, I don't know where the other ones are. Uh, I don't know, they're about somewhere. Whereas there's all the doors, I know that. 
door. Yeah, so you can see all the different types of door. So it's updated, you're 1.8, you've got all the new blocks, you can download all the different plugins. There'll be all the links and downloads that you need and all the codes in the description for this video. Just give it a go, download it, it doesn't take too long, probably about 10 minutes for the whole process. And then you guys can play on 1.8 and download some of the new plugins. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Download links to everything in the description below. And as always guys, please remember to rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers.